welcome back to Glass Half Full. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood and thank you so much for joining me today. You can follow me here on Instagram at Glass Half Full. You can please follow my channel on Gla uh, Glass Half Full on YouTube. That's Glass, the number one, slash half full on YouTube. And also you can follow me personally on CoverGirl23 on Instagram. Today's video, we are going to be, be doing an actual pairing, so I'm so excited for that. But first things first, like, subscribe, share. Go ahead and click that, and also click on the notifications so you can get up-to-date um, notifi notifications on my videos as soon as they hit YouTube. So go ahead and do that and check out this video we're doing. For All right, guys, so here we are. We're about to do the tasting. As you can see, I have mushrooms here. I have some lemons. I also have some salt. And um, the wine I'm going to be tasting today, it's a Pinot Noir, but it's from the Bourgogne, 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 the Bourgogne, it's from the Bourgogne region of France. Um, and Pinot Noir is very, very good from this specific region. So that's why I chose it. It's not a pricey wine. This wine, this bottle was about $19.99 where I picked it up at. I'll give you some links on where you can find it. It should be available basically everywhere. They have a very rich um, wholesale. Um, but yeah, that's the wine that I'm tasting. So if you have a Pinot Noir and it's from somewhere in the USA, make sure you're looking at the label, which part of California, because California makes really good Pinot Noirs, um, some parts of Oregon and things of that nature. So if you're not sure, you can Google it because where you get your wine from definitely will affect how your tasting is gonna go. So you just wanna make sure that part is, is okay. But I am tasting this from one of the original regions in France. So this is a bottle that comes from there and we're gonna go ahead and get uh, started with that. So first things first, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna pour a little bit of my wine. Okay. And a lot of you are probably like, oh, Lord, I squirted it by mistake. Um, a lot of you are like, what is that? What is she using? This is called a Corvin. So experienced wine, wine tasters use this because they don't like to waste the wine, especially if you, you're not going to finish it. I'll leave that wine up there. Um, so I purchased this because I do drink a lot of wine. I do a lot of tastings and things of that nature. So. For me, it just makes sense. I didn't mean to do that, though. It was supposed to shoot out air. <laughs> so as this is pouring, if I can get some in here. And you don't need a lot to taste it. When you're doing tastings, you really don't need a lot of wine to do it. But I always like to get a little bit more drip in mine. <laughs> So you've pour, poured your wine, and I don't know if you've noticed, but this particular glass that I'm using is smaller than a red wine glass and a white wine glass. This is called a tasting glass. Because of how it's made, this particular part is, um, the, the top and the bottle itself is made specifically for tasting because you get a nice aroma so you can smell this, you know, as tasters, you can get those defining qualities, whether you're looking, you wanna know what it smells like, if it has oak to it, this does smell like it has a little bit of an oak. What that means is, this was um, fermented in an oak, in, a, in an actual barrel, um, and it's a whole different type of process that winemakers use, but this one, from my smell, has a bit of an oak, an oak um, smell to it. That just means, added flavor is gonna be, should be in the wine, cause oaks, those barrels typically give the, the wine a bit more flavor. So, I noticed that. So as you're pairing, the one thing you wanna do, a lot of people, you start with the nose, of course. You get whether, if, it, if you're doing a white, you wanna see what it smells like. Is it citrus? Is it, you know, a blackberry? Is it this, is it that? You wanna see what it smells like, because you'll be very surprised once it hits your palate, how the taste differentiates. Now, what we're gonna do is start tasting our food. Um, before we start to taste all of this, you wanna take a sip of your wine because this is gonna allow you to see how it changes 
throughout everything that we're tasting. Now, I'm not sure if you have one. It says you can have a spittoon. It's just something to spit the wine into. I'm not gonna be drinking a lot, um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna need that today. Plus, I don't want to waste my wine, <laughs> you know. So what I noticed upon tasting it first, of course, as soon as it hit my palate, this particular Pinot Noir is a little bit on the drier side. So I'm getting that it's dry. It does have a blackberry type of, um, I can taste a little bit of a blackberry. It's very flavorful. So as soon as it hit my palate, it wasn't dry that I taste. I, it was, um, flavor so I'm getting a lot of different flavors so when you're tasting you want to concentrate on what you're tasting like what is this taste what is, how did they make this you know if you don't know a lot about it that's really what wine tasting um, is about you want to try to guess what's going on with this wine um, so the more experienced you you are of course you're better at it me I'm a novice um, but let's go ahead and now if you don't like mushrooms you can move on to the lemons um, actually, I'll start with that because most people <laughs> don't really like um, you can pan sear your mushroom. You can put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. However, you like to prepare your mushrooms. We will want to do a raw taste test and then a cook taste test because the mushrooms have flavor of their own. And then, of course, when you taste your wine, it's going to give you a whole different taste. So let's remember what our wine is tasting like. And then we're starting with the lemon. I love lemons, so this doesn't phase me at all. Actually, I'm gonna eat a little bit more because I didn't get the flavor. <laughs> okay, so now that I have that lemon in, taste your wine. Instant change for me instant and I did the lemon because I did this this tasting before in my wine class and you would think that the lemon would make it sweeter this particular wine it it evened it out so if if the first bang was too much for me eating foods that have this type of lemon citrus should give you a similar type of type of uh, taste so if you like this taste with this wine those are the type of foods that you should pair it with so on and so forth. So if we do the salt, ah, actually I gotta lick, you know, bartending thing. Salt. So now, if you're having something that's saltier or more seasoned, the more seasoned it is, the, the more your wine is gonna change. So remember how, when I first tasted this particular Pinot Noir, flavors all around. The lemon, to me, it smoothed it out. It gave it a very smooth, mellow, like a light, um, a lighter red. It, I didn't get all of the flavors. So it was, to me, it was more enjoyable with what I'm, what I'm eating. Now with the salt, no, the salt made it drier. And so on and so on. Like I said, if you like mar mar marshmallows, if you like mushrooms, you would pair with the mushrooms. When I did the first tasting, I did not like mushrooms, so I'm not gonna try that on this video because <laughs> you're not gonna like the face that you're gonna see. But these are the things that you can do. So when you're choosing your wines, Google can help you out with all of this as well because you wanna choose the wine that pairs with the flavor that you're going to be eating. If you're drinking wine by itself, of course it's really just how does this flavor taste to me because I'm just gonna be drinking this. Whether you have chocolates or crackers, anything you eat is gonna change that wine. So always remember not to judge a wine off of first taste because it may not, you may not like it when you first have it, but think about what you're gonna be eating 
and possibly parent you could possibly pair it with that you know whether it's a cheese or you know a, a actual meal something barbecue but if it's sweeter you want to pair it with the correct wine so this is how you do your pairings and you can try this with any type of food just to see if the wines in your house how they change and if you you know if you thought about one day I liked it and then the next day I you don't like it this is why because it really depends on what you're eating what you've already eaten maybe you've just brushed your teeth or had something that was very powerful anything that's already on your tongue that has not when your tongue is not cleansed it's picking up those flavors and then the flavors of the wine so that's what this pairing was really about just to give you a little bit more in-depth um, a beginner's level really not in-depth but a beginner's level of how wine tastings start to go of course there's verbiage that goes on with the wine tastings and what you know they look for and it's a whole world um, any industry has it but these are the basics so I hope you guys enjoyed this really mini tutorial or tasting because I definitely enjoyed it and I cannot wait to share more with you guys please guys let me know what you would like me to to, to uh, try next if you have a wine that you think I would love please comment below, hit me up on Instagram, um, at me. Please enter our contest. My contest with, for the chocolates, my Valentine's Wines giveaway, get, giveaway is still going on, apologies. My Valentine's Wines giveaway is still going on on Instagram, so I'm gonna be posting more about that because this is the last week. So all you have to do is tag two or more people, uh, subscribe here to my YouTube, keep the comments and chatter going, share, let me know what you want to see. And until the world opens back up, it's opening a little bit. I'm going to be sharing some very interesting things with you guys. I met a sous chef the other day. He's going to be coming on soon. Guys, I am doing it this year. So follow me all year through and beyond. And we're going to have so much fun. So once again, my name is Tamara. I am CoverGirl23 on Instagram or Glass Half Full is the wine channel. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time. This is the wine that was used in today's program. You can check it out at your local